Hello everyone. Welcome to Mavic Korea Apparel Online Fashion Academy. Thanks for stopping by. And if today is your first time joining us, you are welcome. Today I'm going to be teaching us how to draft the basic bodies for kids. And these are the tools that we'll be needing for this tutorial. We're needing our rulers or a pair of ruler, we're needing pencil and eraser, we're needing our marker, our tape measure and our core. But I'm going to be using the marker so that we can see the drafting clearly, otherwise it's always better to use a pencil and eraser so that when, whenever you make a mistake you can easily clean. Okay, as you can see, I have two boxes here. One is the front and the other is the back. I'm going to be drafting the front and the back at the same time. So, how was I able to get the width? This width you are seeing here from here to here. I used the biggest part of the half length, which is this part. This is my this is her chest circumference, this is her chest area. If you look at it critically, you see that it's bigger than every other part here. So that was how I got the width. And then the length, I used her half length. Her half length is 9. And if you measure from here to here, you'll be getting 9. So the next thing we are going to look at is the measurements that we'll be needing. We'll be needing this measurement. So we need our shoulder measurement. Our shoulder will be divided by 2 which will give us 4.5, our chest circumference will be divided by 4, our waist circumference will be divided by 4, then our half length will not be divided at all. So that is it for the measurements needed. Okay, now, I want to show you how to get all the lines. So I'm going to define all the lines you are going to need to make this pattern drafting very easy. Okay, we are going to use the... This first line here, as our starting point line, we're going to use it as our shoulder line. So I'll just draw a line here and indicate shoulder, shoulder line, which is this one. So now, let me draw attention to something. Whenever you are trying to get any of these box, either the front or the, or the back, you are not to use the whole of your circumference. Of your chest circumference. Let's say you have 21.5. You're not to use the whole 21.5. You're to divide it by 4. Then whatever you have, you add 1.5 or at least 1 inch. Let's say you have 5. By the time you add 1, it becomes 6. So you have 6 here and 6 here. So that's, that's that. So let's go back to what we we're discussing. So the next thing I'm going to do is to insert my shoulder measurement. My shoulder is 9. 9 divided by 2 gives me 4 and half. So this 4 and half here. So the next thing I'll do is to take my neckline. I'm taking 2 by 2 and half. So this is it. I'm making this dress for a child of 2 years. So this neckline is just fine. So after drawing my neckline, I will slant the front shoulder by one. So I'll just connect this line like this. Then I will slant my shoulder this way. So having done this, I'll come to the back and I'll take half inch out of what I was having before this way so now um, this will be my new shoulder line for the back now I'm going to take my shoulder measurement on this new line I made so this is my four and a half my neckline will still be two by one so I'll connect it this way so I've just done that so now half inch is gone we are left with half to make it one inch 
So I'm going to connect it like this. So while we are slanting our front neck and uh, our, our, our shoulder for the front by one inch, we are slanting the back by half inch. So now I want to get the chest line because I, like I told you, I'm going to get all the lines. Okay, now our formula for getting chest line is chest measurement divided by 4 minus 1.5. Now, by the time you divide, my own chest line is 21.5. By the time you divide 21.5 by 4, you are going to be having 5.25. Now, if you minus 1.5 from 5.25, you're left with 3.75. So, I will just go ahead and use my 3.75, or I can round this 3.75 to 4. So, I'll be using 4 as my chest line. So, from here, I'm going to add 4 to what I already have before. So 4 plus this one I have here that I used to slant my shoulder will give me a total of 5. As you can see, this is 5. So I'll come here and measure the same thing. This is 5. Then I'll connect it. So now we have our chest line. So this is our chest line. So I'll just draw it straight out and label it chest line. So this has given us our chest line. So this is our chest line for both our front and back. And of course this last line is our waist line. So this gives us our waistline so as you can see it's very simple so the next thing I'll do now is to insert my bust measurements my bust divided by 4 is 5.25 so I'll just no sorry my bust divided by 4 is 5.4 so this is 5.4 here yeah? and then my my waist is also 5.4 you know, as kids, they don't have shape yet, so their bust and their waist are just, uh, the same most times. So I'll just connect the lines. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do now is to divide my chest line by two after the slant whatever i have i'll divide it by two okay this is four divided by two will bring me here so i'll come here and mark the same thing this is two so now on the front bodies i'll go in by half inch then i'll use my curve to connect to connect it to the bust measurement like this. I do the same for the back. Like this. So now from here I'll use my ruler and connect it straight to this point. And I have this, you just try to blend it up a little. So this is it. We now have our shoulder line, our chest line, and our waistline. And these are our front bodies and our back bodies. And this pattern has no sewing allowance whatsoever. So I'll just go ahead and cut this off. Insert the same allowances and show you what it looks like. This is how to add seam allowance on our front and back pattern. As you can see, I added half inch around the shoulder on both sides, around the armhole, half half inch, and I added 1.5 inches each at the sides, then 1.5 for zip allowance. 
So this brings us to the end of this tutorial. If you found this illustration useful, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Feel free to share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe. And for more detailed tutorial on how to cut and sew for kids, please contact us on the WhatsApp number displayed on your screen. Until I see you in our next class. Bye-bye.